We're back in Birmingham. Jeremy was here earlier having a hoedown with the Crossfire in Star City. But there's so much more to the place than that. For years it's been the butt of everyone's inner city architecture jokes. Even Telly Savalis couldn't make it sound good. Riding the express elevator to the top of one of the city's highest buildings, this is the view that nearly took my breath away. But now... Blimey, look at the place. Overnight, it's become the Barcelona of the black country. But even Birmingham isn't our surprise of the year. No, that'll be a car. And here it is, the Jaguar XJ6. Now, the XJ Jaguar is a great car, we already know that. The surprise here is that this is the XJ Lite version. Now, normally this car would have a 4.2 litre thunking great V8 under the bonnet, but this one's a V6. Just six cylinders and three litres. Bottom of the range. The cheap one. Oh dear. There's normally something really tragic about the bottom of the range, you know, the 1.6 version. A little boot badge that says, you're on the bottom rung. And you sit there in a world of velour, looking at a little, a little slot on the dashboard where you know there would be a switch if this was a posh version, but instead you've got a little bit of plastic that just blanks it off. And you can't help driving along and thinking, if I just paid a bit more attention at school, and if I just worked a bit harder, I'd have air conditioning. But you don't get that here. This is not some admission of middle management failure. For a start, XJ6 is actually a revival of one of the most pucker boot badges in Jaguar's history. And look in here. Everything the boss has got in his Jag. Cruise control, CD player, air conditioning. This is all leather, not the man-made stuff. The seats are still electric. The wood is still wood. So, as a car to be in and be seen in, the XJ6 is exactly the same as any other XJ Jag, except that it's £39,000, or to put it another way, £12,000 less than the cheapest V8 model. And that's Boston, that is. <laughs> The only difference is under the bonnet. The 4.2 litre V8 gives you 300 horsepower, while the 3 litre V6 has just 240. But for once, it just doesn't matter. This car's styling is rooted in an era when everything was made of real wood and only cost a penny, but underneath all that you'll find that it's a really high-tech car. It's made almost entirely of aluminium, which is very light, as we know. It's a third of a tonne lighter than the old XJ model. And because it's light, you don't need such a big engine to make it go. So for once, the cheap option really is an option. You just have to press the pedal a little bit harder. And when you do, this V6 engine, it sings. But this is the bit I like best. Because this is a light car, and because it's a six, it doesn't drink petrol. So this means you can satisfy your company accountant without having to buy a diesel. That is a real bonus. None of that having to say, well, of course, it's terribly good at the motorway cruise. This is a Jaguar, and a Jaguar belongs on a back road. Swooping through trees, the whole vista of beautiful England relayed into the comfort of your cabin in stunning windscreen format. This car has that magic X factor that we like so much on Top Gear. You'd sort of expect it to be really boring, but then when you drive it, you discover it makes perfect sense. I mean, here's a Jaguar that saves you a shed load of cash, and in return, all it asks is that you just press the pedal a bit harder. 
that's it. Now that is a really nice surprise. So, we started the series looking at the BMW 5 Series and wondering what you should buy if you find it a little bit too ugly. And we end the series with the answer. You're dead right. Business persons of Britain, here it is, the XJ6. Right, now, 